Well, hey everybody, this is the video Sunday School lesson for Sunday, August 13th, 2023. I really wanted to do this lesson outside, but it's just too hot. At the time I started recording this lesson, the heat index was 115.9. Well, anyway, we're continuing our series about living holy lives, being set apart. Today we'll focus on being set apart in the way we live. We do not live the same as the rest of the world. In our lives, we should continue to become more like Christ. Therefore, our lives should reflect truth and love. The verses we'll be referring to come from the little book near the end of the Bible, we call Second John. John refers to himself as the elder because he was literally older than anybody else in the church by this point and he had a position of authority because elder also means a leader in the church. He addresses this letter to the elect lady and her children and mentions how much he loves them. We do not know the lady's name. We believe that it is an actual person, not a symbolic reference. And this is at least one of two times that he refers to a woman in the church this way. Now, John was all about Jesus, and Jesus was and is the truth. He uses this term several times the lady and her children whom I love in the truth. And I love all who know the truth because the truth that remains in us will be with us forever. So again, we're to be very loving people and very truthful people. The world would have us believe that truth keeps changing. And you can watch enough television, news, and Let's do enough science reports and other reports. It does seem like they want you to believe that the truth is ever-evolving and changes with situations constantly. That may sometimes be true. However, we know that the truth of God's Word and Jesus Christ does not change. Same yesterday, today, forever. Our Father in Heaven sends through His Son Jesus Christ, truth and love, but also grace, mercy, and peace. These are also things that we need to demonstrate to the world. John says, I was very glad to find some of your children walking in truth, in keeping with the command we have received from the Father. So we know that John was somewhat concerned about heresy and blasphemy in the church. Our lifestyle needs to be consistent with God's truth. So John says, Dear lady, I'm going to give you a new command, which is not new at all. It's the one we've always had from the beginning. Love one another. This is what God told Moses to tell the people there in the wilderness. This is what Jesus told his disciples and told them that's how people would know we are his disciples because we love each other. And finally, as he approached the end of his life, John drove this point home over and over. It became his one continuous sermon, love one another, speaking to the whole church of our love to our fellow church members and love to whoever will receive God's love. As this paragraph goes on, he said, this is a demonstration of love, especially love toward God. We obey his commands, the commands of the Father. And as Jesus says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And then John says, you've heard this from the beginning, walk in love. Everything about our lifestyle should reflect the love of God. John goes on to say there are many deceivers who have gone out into the world. Many, there are a lot of them, 
just like Jesus said there would be from the time that he left until now until he returns. These deceivers do not confess the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh. Therefore, they are not only deceivers, they are the Antichrist. Ever since John was still alive on earth, there's been talk of the Antichrist, one person of pure evil, the man of sin, the man of iniquity, lawlessness, totally opposed to God, trying to make himself God. But in addressing this, John also reminds people that there are a lot of antichrists with little a's, anti-Christian people, deceiving or denying. In light of that, John follows up by saying, watch yourselves. Stay the course. John says, you need to remain. Anyone who does not remain in Christ's teaching, who goes another way, then they do not have the Lord. Stick to the teaching of the Bible, especially the teachings of Jesus. If you remain in in that teaching, then you have the Father, you have the Son, and in light of that, you also have the Holy Spirit. Some religions, some of them quite large, have been started by people who felt like the Bible was not enough, that they needed to add more of their own books and their own teaching. No, the Bible is sufficient. Do not subtract. Do not add, don't go beyond. Here's your action points. Study your Bible. Practice a lifestyle of love. Lord Jesus, help us to walk in a way that pleases you. Amen.